Hi, it's Sam Bailey. Clara. Dennis, to hereby pledge to chase the wind, whichever way it blows. And forgive pollen when it gets carried away. I promise to grant dust a reprieve. And I will find the strength in Zyrtec to relieve my worst allergy symptoms. Indoors and outdoors. I solemnly swore to catch the breeze, no matter which trees are blooming. Because with Zyrtec, I can love the air. Try Zyrtec 5 or 14 count. If you don't love it, we'll refund your money. You sure can brew it. Question is, can you sell it? We made our first sale. More bars in more places. That's what you can expect. If you see periods or dashes, your TV set is digital. So you should try rescanning or reprogramming for channels. More on rescanning in a minute. Second, you can purchase a converter box which makes digital programming viewable on older TVs. Converter boxes cost between $40 and $70, and in a few minutes I'll show you how to set one up. It's the least expensive way to upgrade, and the federal government has been offering $40 coupons to help purchase these boxes, but these coupons could take six weeks or more to receive in the mail. However, you can always buy a converter box at the regular price. The third way to upgrade is to subscribe to a pay TV service like cable, satellite, or a telephone company television service. Call your local pay TV provider. So, how do you set up one of these converter boxes? It takes a few simple steps. Each unit comes with a remote control and a coaxial cable. It may also have audio video cables with yellow, red, and white plugs like this, and may have a separate power supply and cord. First, locate the cable that's currently running from your antenna to the TV, take it out of the antenna or VHF jack on the TV, and put it into the antenna in jack on the converter box. This may also be labeled something like RF in or from antenna. Next, take the coax cable that was supplied with the converter box, put that in the antenna out jack on the box, and this may also be labeled something like RF out or to TV, and then put the other end of the coax into the antenna in jack on the TV. Or you can use audio video cables instead of the coax if you have the cables and your set has the corresponding inputs. If you have a VCR or DVD player, however, you can use those particular cables to connect the converter box with either of those devices. Finally, turn your TV on and put it on channel 3 or 4. If you're using the audio video cables for hookup, then select the TV to AV or video. Then, plug the converter box power cord into a wall outlet. Turn on the converter box using the remote, and you should see the output of the converter box on the TV screen. It usually appears with a setup menu. It will either prompt you to scan for local channels, or it will do so automatically. You may also need to go to Menu and select Setup to Auto Program or Scan in Channel. Now, what if you already hooked up the converter box properly, Scan for channels, but you're seeing this message right now. Why is that? It's probably because many channels change their locations on the broadcast airwaves after the transition. To make sure you're getting all the channels available, you should rescan your converter box or digital television set. Otherwise, you might miss some of the channels you received in the past. Rescanning for channels is relatively easy, but each TV and converter box is different. So if you're having trouble rescanning, review the instructions or owner's manual. Going back to rescan involves finding the menu function. Usually just press the menu button on your remote control and choose an automatic scan or easy scan function or manual scan function and let the television or converter box find channels for you. Before we address antennas, it's important to know that the new digital signals work differently. Once you've upgraded, you should have a clear picture with no ghosts or interference. But if you can't find channels you're used to watching, or you're getting spotty or pixelated reception, there are a number of things you can do. First, make sure you have a VHF UHF antenna. VHF only antennas like these rabbit ears only pick up channels 2 through 13, while UHF only antennas like this silver sensor model only pick up channels 14 and higher. That's why you need a good VHF UHF antenna like this flat one to get all the channels out there. The location of an indoor antenna in the room also makes a big difference to how well it receives DTV channels, and you may need to try different locations to get the best reception. Raising it as high as possible is usually best, and you will also need to try changing the location in which it is pointing. An alternative is to use an outdoor or rooftop antenna, which generally works better than indoor antennas. 
The higher an antenna is placed and the larger it is, the better it generally works. Be careful setting up any outdoor rooftop antennas. Many require professional installation. You can pay a few dollars for some indoor antennas to over a hundred for a good outdoor antenna. To learn more about antennas, visit www.antennaweb.org. Now, let's review this checklist to help you receive free digital TV. One, if you have a newer TV set, check your owner's manual to see if your set has a digital ATSC tuner. If you have a digital tuner, you don't need a converter box and most likely simply need to rescan for channels. Two, older TV sets that use antennas to get reception now need a converter box to get reception. Three, many channels moved around after the transition. All viewers should rescan their converter boxes or digital TV sets today to make sure they're getting all the channels available. Four, if you have reception problems, make sure you have a good VHF UHF antenna. And remember, a good rooftop or outdoor antenna will always get the best reception. Check your local electronics store for options. Five, if you can see this program but you're paying for a service like cable or satellite, Call your provider to get more information. Six, if you've read your instruction manual and rescan your converter box and you still think your converter box doesn't work, here are the toll-free numbers for some popular converter box manufacturers. You can also reach some of these manufacturers through the FCC's toll-free number, 1-888-CALL-FCC. They may be able to help you. coupon, you want one, or yours expired, you can check the status of your converter box coupon at www.dtv2009.gov. To order a coupon, call 1-888-DTV-2009, but it could take six weeks or longer to get one. You could also ask a friend or family member if they have an extra coupon they can give you. 8. For help, call this number, 1-888-CALL-FCC. For TTY, the number to call is 888-TEL-FCC. Or try calling one of your local television stations. There could be a high volume of calls coming in, so if you get a busy signal, please try your call again later. We hope this program has helped you to upgrade to the crystal clear pictures of digital television. If you miss any portion of it, stand by, as it will repeat momentarily in Spanish, followed again in English. For more information anytime, visit DTVAnswers.com.